In this tutorial, you'll have the opportunity to learn how to code your first project in Python on a Magi EDU with our co-founder, B, so that you can feel confident teaching your students on the first day. You'll learn how to add color to your designs, review RGB colors, and learn how to use our design feature to create unique combinations of colors. And now, let's dive into some coding. I selected a few activities uh, from our lessons that cover the most important foundational concepts. And I won't go, go through each lesson step by step. I will just explain some fundamental concepts so that you understand them, and then you can teach them to your students. So let's start with matrix coding. So actually, one of our um, early users, uh, when asked what the Imagi app had taught her, responded with matrix coding. And I guess she was so enthralled with the matrix and creating pixel art for this matrix that she forgot that she was actually learning Python. And so matrix coding is not really a, a term or a concept but we like to use it because it does <laughs> represent uh, the fact that the core of the programming in the Imagi app is indeed this eight by eight matrix. Um, and you can access the, the pixels on the matrix um, through the pink and the blue numbers on the side of the matrix, which are called indices. And we introduce use this uh, using a parallel with a chessboard where each location of a piece is given by the letter and the number uh, on the side of the chessboard. So it works the same way with the matrix M. If we wanted to turn on a pixel in the matrix, we would write the following line of code. M, which is the name of the matrix, followed by square brackets, uh, and where we put the row and the column number. So first the row number, which is in pink, and then the column number in blue. And then we set this pixel. So once we decided its location, we set it to on. I will pause, I will, well, I will encourage you to pause the video here and think about what numbers you would replace row, the words row and column with. So these should be numbers corresponding to the location of this pixel. Hopefully you got that right. So the line of code that turns on this pixel is M of two and three equal, equals on. Now, how would we go about creating something like this? Again, if you want to go ahead and try it, please do so and pause the video. So this is the code to create this smiley face. And uh, you see that each line turns on a different pixel. So we start with the left eye, the right eye, then following uh, the pixels of the mouth. So the order in which we write these pixels actually doesn't matter because at the end, when we run the program, M will take all the, um, all the values, so all the pixels that were colored will show up at once. So it doesn't really matter in which, uh, in which order we write these lines. And if you don't believe me, then please pause the video again and try this for yourself. Change up some, some order. You Perhaps you wrote your code in a different order already and you got the same result. So this is an important concept to, to grasp. The order in this case doesn't matter because all these pixels are programmed at the same time. Now, all good so far, but uh, it's a lot more fun if we can add some colors. So uh, in the coding environment in the app, we have eight colors, um, oh, sorry, 10 colors available. Um, R stands for red, O for orange, Y for yellow, and so on. And these colors we can use in any of our coding projects. So for example, we can go back to the smiley that we just coded and replace on with uh, the uppercase initials of the colors that we want to use. So in this case, I used blue for the eyes and red for the mouth. Feel free to give this a try and play around with some colors. If you thought that was a bit limiting, just having 10 options, well, I have good news for you. So now next we're gonna talk about uh, RGB color codes. 
So RGB is a color system that constructs all the colors from the combination of red, green, and blue. And it's used for the display of images in electronic systems. So for example, on your phone screen, uh, computer screen, or the screen pixels of the ImagiCharm. And obviously R stands for red, G for green, and B for blue in this diagram. So you can see in the diagram that um, some of the colors uh, you can obtain by combining other colors. And another way to represent this is actually uh, with a color wheel. So here we can see that pretty much every color that we can imagine um, is on the color wheel and is constructed from a combination of red, uh, green, and blue. For example, this green um, on the left side has a little bit of red, a lot of green, so maximum green actually, and just a tiny bit of one, so it, uh, of blue, sorry. So it's, it's very far from, from the blue. Uh, this color here is a predominant red, however, it does have a little bit of green and a little bit of blue. And so if you look at these numbers, you might notice that 255 is used a lot. So actually 255 is the maximum value and zero is the minimum value. So now we're gonna do a quick color quiz. Again, feel free to pause to see if you uh, got the answers right. So what color does this RGB color code represent? It's red. What about this one? Green. And finally, this one. Hope you got this one right. Blue. Now, this is a bit trickier. What color does this one, this code represent? So here we are adding red, green, and blue in equal proportions. And if you remember the illustration from before, at the center, when we combine red, green, and blue, we have white. So white is what we get when we combine um, all three colors. Now, what do you think this means? So in digital systems, zero means lack of light, and lack of light actually means black. Now we can switch it up. So I want you to think about the RGB color code of uh, aqua. So this color here, you see it here. It's a combination of green and blue. So the code is right here. There is no red, there is maximum green and maximum blue. What about magenta? It's right here. Yellow is also here, so it should be easy. Now, what about this color code? This looks somewhat similar to yellow. If I go back, this was yellow, 255, 255, zero. And <laughs> I pressed ahead, so there you have the answer. In this case, we get orange because we have red, we have green, so it's still a combination of, of red and green. However, we have much more red than green. So the color is closer to red than it is to green, which is some uh, shade of orange. So with the knowledge that we got so far, uh, you should be able to create all of this. Different pixel art designs using any color that you like and if you don't know how to come up with the RGB um, color code for um, your desired color, for example, I haven't shown you how to create brown. So if you want to create brown, then what you can do is in the Magi Edit platform, when you create a project, if you go to uh, the design tab, you can play with colors uh, here in this uh, color editor. So this is the color wheel that we were looking at earlier. So if we go around, we can see uh, all the different colors. However, I don't see brown anywhere here. So if I go towards orange, then I notice that on this different scale, I have 
um, if I can go all the way to uh, white or let's go back, I can go to uh, a darker orange, which is actually brown. So in case you haven't known this before, uh, brown is actually just dark orange. And there you go. You can copy the RGB code and uh, paste it directly into your code. So we can just now turn on a pixel to brown.